All right, YouTube, I wanted to do something different before we jump into another Dead to Glory update here on the channel. I wanted to tell you specifically about getting ready for Team of the Year. I've been mentioning this in all my previous videos and on my stream and on X Twitter as well, cynical underscore foot. You can jump into the bio for the full links. And I wanted to do a full on real quick crash course on how you can maximize your pack before team of the year and if you put time into it get infinite pack for team of the year before and after because it is important to know that right now we are in fc versus uh the promo that is a stopgap between team of the year but the the level of play will increase with Team of the Year. The SPC will go up a notch and the meta and all the power curve will rise up. So right now you don't do the SPCs, you don't open your packs, you wait for Team of the Year because yes, you want all the lottery tickets to open and crack a Team of the Year card. But most importantly, you want resources to craft all the SPCs that are coming our way within the next weeks. Uh, player SPCs, lottery SPCs, objective SPC, objectives and stuff. You need cards to do this and the best way to get ready for team of the year is the good old league spc and one is specifically awesome for the grind because as you can see all the player spcs right now i am not doing i am waiting i'm keeping my packs i have over 115 big packs to open because the only thing i am doing with my time right now is the daily thing so daily golds daily bronze daily silvers the daily 83 times 10 and the way i obtain those cards it it's with the mixed league spcs if you have zero club in your squad and i mean zero like you're starting a new account this will cost you around 10k coins to complete that's 10,000 coins for a small prime silver pack, a gold pack, tradable. These two are tradable. The premium gold pack is untradable, and the premium mixed player pack is untradable. And those four packs, you open before team of the year. So you do this, you open those pack, and you keep the league rewards. That is the small rare gold players packs. That is six gold cards with a uh, minimum of 82 plus on one of these. This is not a big pack, but you keep this one, you open the other four, and I will show you why you do this. It is twofold, actually. You can do this on the web app, it goes way quicker, but if you want to save time, everything that I do right now, meaning buying on buy now, you do it on bids. You go on the market and you bid on cards. I already had one, so that's great. So instead of just buying cards for 250 like i'm about to do right now you go on bids and you're gonna save a ton of coins doing this now i just want to save time because time is of the essence uh, when i'm doing a video but if i'm on my phone if i'm doing this over and over again every like i i've been doing this at least five times a day to be quite honest and it's a bare minimum you can do it infinitely because the more you do it the more cards you get the more experience you get on, on finding which card goes where which club to use i used cs MLEC in the sudamericana because i know that i can get a bunch of cards for 200 or 250 that means that if you're patient enough you can get all those cards on bids for 150 coins so you save overall if you go on bids but right now I'm just going to show you guys the way to do it without going on bids. And you get those packs and you open those packs. And I'm not going to do the whole thing. You get the gist of it. It's really easy. I can give you some pointers though on how to do it quicker. Uh, the Serie BKT in Bundesliga, what I do, and you will notice because I probably did it already a little bit, is I mass bid on rare cards. I have a bunch of keepers here, but it doesn't matter because... I, I mass bid on them at 200 or 150 and I just fill up my club with them. So when I need to start and craft the whole thing, like here, all I need to do is to see, okay, so I have one here from that club and I will probably get enough card just to do it this way with what I have bought already. You see here, I do this, I didn't use this club, I will use this club. And if you do it enough, 
whenever you buy cards see i didn't use uh, this one no not this one i think this one here i didn't use so i got my cam already so now all i need is i go low to high and i try to remember which club i used everything is super slow right now the servers are whacked so i didn't use this rares are common don't, don't matter if you do this all the time what will happen is that you will only have rares anyway in your club so i don't distinguish rare and commons if you're not doing this a lot like i am you can take time and put some commons into it instead of putting rares like hey do right now but i pay them the same price so for me it's there's no difference between buying a rare or buying a common so i just put them all in as i go and i will do this one two three four times in a row and just collect all these packs and when you get this one here uh, this is the one from league spcs the other one are dailies the reason why you do this you do your small league spc over and over and over again you will stockpile on silvers and all of these you can either sold them uh, sell them to get some coins see i could make maybe 1k coins or you keep them and when you do your daily grind meaning the daily bronze daily silver daily gold you will use these cards to craft all the dailies and that way i can see them right now but you get your daily pack and with those daily packs, you craft everything else. So let's say you do this five times. You set five pack aside for Team of the Year, the five big packs. You will open five times four. You will open 20 packs and you just spend 40K, 50K. So you open 40 packs for 50K. You build up your fodder. And with the fodder you build up with this, you will be able to do the 83 times 10 twice a day. So with these two, you keep for a team of the year. You will also pack enough golds to complete this every once in a while. Don't go crazy. I do it maybe three times a day. And when I do the premium mixed league upgrades, I keep the same packs the mixed league upgrade gives in the prem section the smaller gold player pack and i keep the big pack in the end the prime gold players pack these are two more packs so you do this over and over again and every time you do it you just stockpile packs for team of the year but the most important thing yes you do the mix the upgrades you try to get coins by playing gameplay as well clear your objectives you will pack some team of the year when you pack a tradable team of the year you sell it this is how you make coins. You pack tradable team of the years, you get 30 coins back and you move and you recycle everything that way. And like I said, the most important thing is to spam this and avoid all of these. The 86 triple threat hero, the icon pack that was there all week, Gavi, the icons, wait, just wait. You don't need these cards. There is literally maybe five cards you can pack in this that will go beyond team of the year wait on this you don't need those cards keep all your fodder for everything the only thing i suggest you do is with some fodder you pack you go on and craft team of the weeks because they are going to be super useful in team of the year these are cheap to do and they give back tradable packs as well more chance for you to pack big cards that will get you coins coins that you will put back into the grind Check the prices of your bronzes as well. There's uh, some bronzes that are crazy expensive with the new Evo, but you get the gist of it. That's all I wanted to do today. It is important that you learn to spam the small league SPC as much as you can. The prices are super low, and then you get to open a bunch of small packs, but all of these small packs will add up to something and in these bronzes, sometime, like here, you pack a Ligue 1 card. If you don't want to use it in Ligue SPC, you list it. You get back 400 coins. This, over time, just adds up. 400 coins here, 400 coins there. You pack 1,000 cards. You will get a consumable that sells. All of these are super important to do. And this, this is the tradable gold pack that we did from the Ligue SPC. You just open it. It's nothing fancy. It's nothing crazy. This MLS card will get useful in your Legacy PC grind because you use those MLS card. 
proof being I already bought it for my League SPC grind. So I'm just going to keep it in my club for now, send it on the transfer list and use it later because I know I'm going to use it later doing another run of the League SPCs. So that's it. That's what I wanted to do. I didn't want to do a proper Dan to Glory update because I am still playing my champs. I did some of the objectives. I have a very good run of champs right now. I am 7-1. and one. And I have until Monday night to finish, so I'm just going to do it this on my time. But I wanted to update you guys with this super easy method. Craft as much pack as you want in EAFC. All it takes is time. The method is very simple. I just showed you. Yes, your coins will drop, but it will rise back up when you pack something good. Or where the objective you will be able to clear with all that fodder and the tradable packs you get back from these. Trust the process you will pack cards and get your coins back in due time and you will be more than ready next friday when team of the year starts with all the update packs sbc's upgrade everything you want be ready craft some pack have some fun and come back on the channel later this week for the dead to glory update ciao